Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, so I'm so sorry about that. But I finished Stranger Things 3. I haven't even reviewed the first two seasons yet, so we are going to review all three of them in this video. Also, spoiler warning for seasons 1, 2, and 3. I will give you a warning, though, for the spoilers for 3. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with season 1. And season one was a very interesting show when it first came out because I didn't, I refused to watch it for the longest time. It was around the time it came out, and it came out in like June, but like when I July, but when I first started writing, like I don't know, like January of twenty seventeen, which was like the next year. River the show Riverdale was really popular, and I thought it was gonna be too similar to Riverdale because you know it's like a teen show, and I was like, no, I, I can't do this. Then anyway, so talking about it's like okay, I finally gotta watch it now, and I fell in love with the show. The characters are just so season one. I'm just gonna talk about season one right now. The characters are so great. They, the, all of the child acting is great. As you guys might know, I met I met three of the actors. Um, I've met um, Gate and Noah and Millie. Um, but it's it's a great show. Um, all of the characters are fantastic. Um. In season one, I mean, I really do not have any problems with season one. Maybe there's a couple of nitpicks, but season one is like fantastic almost the entire way through. Um, season one was just so good and great. Um, yeah, um, but another great thing about season one was um, like the, the story. Like, what I loved about the story about season one is that, like, Everybody has a separate storyline, but it all comes together in the end, which I absolutely love. Which also, just say, like, this isn't a spoiler, I would say, for Season 3. But Season 3 does the same exact thing, which I which I really love they did that season. But I'm going to get into that later. Yeah, I really love that. Um, so yeah, Season 1 was great. All the characters are great. Uh, especially, yeah, Dustin. I love Dustin. Gaten, of course. Um, of course, Eleven's great. Lily Bobby Brown's a great actress. Um... But now let's talk about season two, because I have a lot of problems with season two. Uh, so there was really that many spoilers for season one, but season two I'm going to get into some spoilers, because um, it leads into season three also. Um, the Lost Sister episode is just so bad, it's, it's horribly written, it's terribly awful. Eleven, who I love throughout the series, it's just, it's focused on her and her sister, and it's so bad. It is just, it's one, sorry, that's my dad's phone. It is one of the worst episodes I have seen, like, one of the most unnecessary episodes of a show I've seen in a long time. It is just bad. Um, but the rest of the season is really good. Um, it's not as good as seasons one, or even season three. I thought season three was better, but we're gonna get into that. Um, this season is just awful I mean, the, what am i saying no the season's not awful i'm so sorry about that i'm in my beach house right now and i'm just i'm relaxed and i'm just thinking about weird things but season two is great uh not great <laughs> season two is good not great it's very uh it's the first like three episodes are very like unfocused it's it's more like there there's some scary moments but there's also some lighthearted moments um they really didn't kind of find a tone throughout that season but i do think it was still a very good season all the characters are still great all the acting is still great um but oh also hopper great character um but season three was so much better than season two it is so much fun and it's just great all around. Um, I had a problem at first. I thought it was a little bit too lighthearted. I thought there wasn't it was moving away from the tone, which I didn't like. But um, really like season three. Um, spoiler warning: if you have not seen season three, stop this video. I kind of hinted at something earlier, but stop this video right now. All right, let's go. Hopper dies. Yes, I know, I cried. <laughs> it's so sad. I love Hopper so much, and he dies in season three. At the very end of the episode, he dies. Um, it was just, oh my god. But the season three end credit scene 
teases some stuff about what's going to come in the future for the series. So, I mean, all of that was um, great. Um, the end credits scene was great, like how they set up, like, oh, like, there's this Russian and they go down into the basement. Not some basement, what am I talking about? They go down to some, like, facility, and then there's two cages with people in them. They don't choose who's in the cages, but they say... One of the cages had... They say, oh, don't take the American out. So I think the American is Hopper. Uh, but they don't really explain anything. Um, and then they take the Russian out, and this was so awesome. So the Russian is... Um, taken out, of course. Sorry, uh, I, sorry I stopped the video. Um, somebody called me. But the Russian is taken out, and what happens is the Russian is fed to the Demogorgon. That was so awesome. Oh my god. The Demogorgon was not seen for the last couple of seasons. Uh, I mean, it was in season two, the Demodogs were. But that was so awesome. Oh my god. I Screaming. Oh my god. And that was great. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was great. But I can... I cannot express how much I love the show, like I said. And the ending for season three was sad. This is still spoilers. And for season three was sad because, like, everybody's moving away. I love it now. I still have Will because Hopper is dead. But, I mean, that was very sad. Um, um, but, yeah, this is just a great show. If you guys have not seen Stranger Things, get on that right now. Because Stranger Things is such a good show. Let's hope it gets renewed for a fourth season. I don't know how they're going to do a fourth season after that ending. Uh, but let's hope it gets renewed for a fourth season. So... Because Netflix has been canceling a lot of shows lately, so let's get hope it gets renewed. But thank you guys so much. Bye. Also, let me rate the season. Season one gets a ten out of ten from me. Season two gets a seven out of ten. And season three, I originally had it a seven point five out of ten, but I think now I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. All right, thanks for watching.